hey everyone, I finally got out of the house. It's been months, but I got out. I hope you're ready for a little Bob's World Life, because Chapter 6 starts right now. From a top secret location hidden off the rocky coast of Maine and the home of GOPWar.net, this is Bob's World Life. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Well, a lot's gone on since the last time. I, I did share my secret with you that I'm losing my vision and it's about 90 something percent gone. Um, I'm not going to harp on it because I'm moving forward. I'm learning new ways to do things. And I have friends to help me. One of the best helps I have is my friend Posey. And she's right over here. But I'm going to show her to you in a little bit. Everybody wants to see her. She's actually becoming a service animal. You see, when somebody comes to the house before they can get in the driveway, I already know they're there because she tells me in her own way, of course. And the same thing, uh, when the mail comes, I know that's happening. Um, if there's an alarm going off in the kitchen or something, she comes and tells me about it. Normally she sits right with me as close as she can possibly get. And I think she understands that I'm going blind and she's going to help me. Now, this week, I want to go over a few things. To start with, I have a pet project, and that's pain relief. Now, I've talked about multiple points of this. I've, I've showed you the breathing exercises, um, and I've told you about how we imagine breathing. Not the actual breathing itself, but what you picture for breathing. Everybody pictures something different. But I want you to use your imagination and picture what breathing is to you. Because we're going we're gonna to call that respiration. And it's part two of the pain relief triad. Let's get on to part three. Now this is the part that makes people scratch their head. And it's understandable. But the third part of the pain relief triad is auto suggestion or hypnosis. Now don't get scared. Don't let it frighten you. Everybody is hypnotized in one way or another. For instance, do you know the song for Marlboro cigarettes? If you're old enough. If you're old enough, you'll remember that song. And if you do, you were hypnotized. If you know what insurance company will save you 15% on your insurance, you've been hypnotized. So don't let that scare you. So here they are in order again. The pain relief triad. One is the breathing exercises that I've showed you. Two, respiration. What you think of as breathing. And three, auto-suggestion or hypnosis. Same thing. We're going to get on to that in the next episode or two. And it's another dot that eventually, when I get up to probably episode 15 or so, I'll be able to put these dots together in a row for you. Once you see the dots, the dots put together, you'll understand this. And it'll be a breeze. Now, one point to make about pain, and I've studied this for years, all pain is spinal, period, full stop, all pain is spinal. doesn't matter if it's a toothache, top of your head to the tip of your toe and all places in between, 
all your pain goes through your spine. Do you understand? All pain signals travel through your spine electrically. That's how it works. Now, pain itself is feedback. Just like if you take a microphone and you hold it next to a speaker. The speaker is going to start squealing. That's feedback. What's happening is the microphone is picking up the sound that the amplifier is making. And the amplifier is amplifying that sound. And that's a loop that continues. And it eventually it goes at the speed of light. That's pain. We can change that. We can change that. So, I'll be going through this. It's a lot to absorb, but I'm going to go through it over the next bunch of episodes. And if you started at the beginning and you stay right to the end, you're going to be very happy you did. Now, an update. Uh, I do have an appointment at an eye doctor on the 1st of June, so it's about a month away. And I'm all pumped up for that because after that, hopefully I'll get a recommendation for surgery, if it's possible. I don't even know that. And I'm going to hope for the best, but I'm going to prepare for the worst. So that's how we're going to do that. So this week, yesterday, I went out. Can you believe it? I went out. I haven't gone out in months. Oh, and I caught a good buzz, too. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to Summersworth, New Hampshire. Because it's time to do some shopping. I haven't gone out in months, literally. So, anyway, we got there. And I want you to know right up front, I was not driving. And you will not see me in the driver's seat. So don't start in with that driving and getting high thing. Okay? Yes, I caught a good buzz in Summersworth, New Hampshire. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hey there, friends. Today, uh, today, I'm in, I'm in either Dover or Summersworth, New Hampshire. One or the other. I'm at the store. Um, there's a grocery store here. And I'm not driving, so let's get that straight. Uh, blasted in Dover. I'm a stone again. Hi there, folks, and welcome to my channel. Today... I'm on the road. I'm in Dover, New Hampshire today. And no, I'm not driving, so don't give me that bullshit. Okay, I'm not driving, but I'm in Dover, New Hampshire. And things are getting wild here. There's a friggin' party going on right here, right now. And I'm so stoned. I am high. Yeah. Oh, well. well, today I'm smoking a little slurricane. That's what it's called. Slurricane. I forget what it's the cross between this and that and the other thing. All these pop names. <sighs> Back in my day, there was only two kinds of weed. Good and wicked good. Actually, back in my day, there was only two kinds of weed. Garbage and good shit. And believe it or not, the stuff commercially available in dispensaries 
is in the good category. Not great. Super shit. Well, let's put it this way. I know where to find it, okay? And I'm telling you what, I am totally relaxed right now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm on the road. It's a rainy, shitty day. But this is the first time I've been out of the house in a month and a half at least. And uh, it's good to see that it's all still here. Buildings are still standing. There still are cars. Although, Well, that was quite an adventure, huh? Now, everyone's always asking to see their favorite kitty, Posey, and she's next. <laughs> Well, there she is. <laughs> That's our friend right there. That's my little turkey. Isn't she pretty? She just is oh, such a little girl, you know. She thinks she's a baby lion. <laughs> Show him your chin. Look at that. Look at that chin. That is half cotton, half satin. Oh, what a beautiful kitty, huh? She's a baby lion. There she is. That's our girl right there. She's my seeing eye girl. Hey, anybody want to go to the stoop with me? <laughs> it's that time of day, you know. It is that time of day. I think it's time for some stoop time. Come along, you're invited, and you can sit next to me.
So how about a little relaxation? I think it's time for a little relaxation. Please come along with me on this journey. Watch this video and if you feel a prickling at the back of your neck go right down your spine, you'll know we've made contact. This won't hurt. This will help you to relax, so please enjoy. Please enjoy a little relaxation on me. Did it relax you? Good. Alright, now next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. 
But I'm sure it'll be crazy and wild. Wild and crazy guy. Uh, well, it sure was a whole lot of fun doing this. And I hope you'll be back next week. And I'll go through all that pain stuff again. We'll give you a few more dots to follow. And we'll share some love. That's what we'll do. I'll see you next week. Or you'll see me. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Well, maybe not, but you can see me next week. I don't need to see you. I don't need to see you to love you. Okay? Take care. We'll see you next week. <laughs>